Julia and I started the keep two years ago in order mainly to showcase my own work but also the work of new artists in the area. What attracted us to Clitheroe in the first place was the amount of art and artists which are quite undiscovered. I started sculpting largely in, in stone because it's such a beautiful material to work with. It's such a tactile thing and you know everyone wants to touch the sculptures which is which is great you know that's what you want people to do. Um, there's, a, there's a sense of permanence to stone as well that that is really attractive. One of my favourite stones is um, it's quite a an undiscovered stone, um, it's called Cornish Polyphant and it comes from one tiny quarry in Cornwall and it, it has a look and feel almost of, of granite but it's a lot softer and a lot easier to work with and it polishes up beautifully. My real inspiration is from the big questions you know, why are we here, <laughs> what is the universe and just trying to understand our place. I'm best known for the Glacier series of sculptures which were inspired by images taken from a scanning tunneling microscope of a DNA molecule. My work's evolved over the years. Originally I was a lot more figurative. It's now become more abstract as I explore these issues. Well, recently we've moved into ceramics, um, which, is, which isn't such a great leap from stone because uh, it's still 3D, it's still sculptural. But what it actually means is that Whereas with stone, uh, you're always taking away from the material. It's a reductive process. Uh, with, with clay, uh, it, it makes life a lot easier because not only can you take away, but you can add to a piece as well. And it gives you a bit more freedom. What interests me about clay is its malleability and it's very much about the form. I work with hand building uh, rather than on a wheel and it's, um, it's sculptural work rather than functional work. We've got a wonderful community of artists in Clitheroe with eight galleries in a reasonably small town plus many more individual artists. The idea of the art walk came about because we live in such a, a popular area for walking. Um, you know, everyone around here loves the countryside and walking and it, it seemed a natural thing to combine that with the artists in the area. And it's a great opportunity for smaller galleries like us to get a lot more people through the doors and who wouldn't necessarily see us. The art walk is something that people can do at any time of the year um, but we do have special events three times a year where we'll open the doors on a Sunday which we normally wouldn't and there'll be music, there'll be food, there'll be a, a, a lot of people all together in, in one day making more of an event of it. It's just a great day out because there's great food in the area, there's great bars, uh, all the places, all the galleries are dog friendly, so it's, it's just a nice experience for people to do something that they wouldn't necessarily normally do. So if you're ever in the area, why not pick up a leaflet and do the art walk and come and say hello to us at the Keep Gallery, which is just off Castlegate in Clitheroe. <laughs>